the weight of light for Donald Langacy. In chapels of hours and temples of light, the waves of prayers are so silent, but rattle the cornices, tremble the saints, the knock-kneed vespers and matins, mosaics with serpentines, candles with night, the goblets with waters of sacrament. The winds of poets unleash the restraints, their silhouettes buried in coffins, the hand-clasped fingers of instruments that bowed in the peons of silences, the winds of the wind-swept graces hover within the sound that light makes, floating in sea bells cast to the currents that glides on the pale skeins of vision into the clamor that calls to the quiet spaces where elements tremble and shake as blue moons measure lift the ascent into the wilding of time, into sensation, into an otherness, breath of a riot that hears what it sees, a textural instant, the layers of matter that speak of a void that once became silent, then was destroyed. Gravity floats to the edge of the sun, spheres that devolve and spin backwards revolve in the semblance of inner resolve, Prayers have been answers and hands have been hope. Love is nothing but one. Strangers congeal like letters in words. As sound waves sublimate, music evolves into the seas of the winds and the sands, measures where sunlight rained and poured as time was lost to the time that it wasn't and silver fish walk where water is not. Sing for them then who hear what they see, that siren is energy, flashing effusives, risen waves mount to the crest of the heart that breaks to light stitches shadows together, and darkness is settled to royal on the sea, a bottled up message of fabric transmissive, an epigram epic that lightens the art. Expanses compress invisible weather. Light filters through them. The air is a sieve, or shades are contrasted like night before day, when darkness is brilliant, singing its say. The curtains of sunlight, latticed in streaks, strike my bare knees, stripe down my calves, stream here to peer through these half-drawn blinds. I can see here, inside its movement, a notion that enters the spaces that seek to speak as a word that senses it leaves out through the music whispers of sown into dulled layers of lattice-lit light. Present and past are measured in shadow. Loves are commingled with all things that shimmer, and wind is soothing the simmering ear. As stars in night exit, regions of grey overwhelm what was distinct. Memory forges links through distance, reflection and sun, silent and radiant, warming these windows, wakes those forgotten hours into today. Clouds have uncovered a brightness in this that never was night, and I was not one to form ever present in shapes or shadows that give light its weight, heat its own emphasis, pinning the feet of chameleons on sunstones, steeping the light in the heat of its bones. I have carried a vision far beyond years that grew like weight that bowed trees with wind. I knew what was calling, I heard it before. I was moved into from deep lightless space, not grounded by temporal singing. Now I hear, just out the door, beached on an island that bolts down the sea, heavy rain pour its hard crystals on me, drowning my face as if I could grow gills or hope to expand a breath of new light and the air that it eats in the white tablets of sun-streaking sheets. Fingertips touch the smell of warm coffee, stains on the cupside that drip as it sweat. Yesterday's water, still tall in the glass I haven't drunk yet, 
though I tasted it then. An urgency rocks me, moves like the AC that battles the sun to chill this intemperate moment that dies like the minutes that pass. Even if self-made, it still is the wind that moves as a breeze I haven't felt yet. But I listen, touch, then see what I hear as minutes of moments appear and disappear. A calling comes in. It's the voice of a friend, a mythical painter, a mystical child. Were I to tell him these notes are a chorus that settle in domes to rattle the arches that tethered my eyes to the candle wick end, would the call go quiet or wake in the wild? I bear the light down to collapse the colossus. Yes, even the sunlight can rain as it passes, and love leave its tears on the pain it reviled. As morning light rises, the candle is finished. Temples are sun-streaked, eons diminished.